You know, I've been around Chris's friends, you know, several times, and I'm hoping that they all welcome me into their group because if this is going to work that we're together, I would like to know your friends. Okay, I want to hear stories about Chris. You guys got to tell me some yeah. good stories. You all have known him way so long. Rick is the longest. I'm under a gag order. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. He better not told you that. Don't pay attention to him. I could go the horribly embarrassing he'll never talk to me yes. way again. Oh, well, maybe. Why would you want to do that? I wouldn't. Right. Um, so Chris, Chris came over. You know, we had some dinner and just talked. We did get to this relationship. One of the things that I will say that Chris said was... I'm so scared. Me too. <laughs> Chris said, it's just so easy. Yeah. It's just such an easy relationship. It is. I think I've probably done more this year than the last three to five years because I had someone to do it with. And so, yeah, a lot of fun. Close to you. <laughs> Amy said the same thing. It was like, we have a good time, we can communicate, there's no about, stress. Yeah, we really haven't had any drama yet. No. Yeah. I've never been in a relationship like this. I think with Matt and I, as I look back, Matt was like, these are my friends, these are your friends. They always had to be separate. But I definitely think Chris and I are on a better road when it comes to friendships. You know, it's, it's just, it's just different. Cheers to Chris and Amy. Yay. I can't imagine Chris not being a part of my life. We're understanding each other a little bit more each and every day. I mean, that's what I see. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I think we have. Hopefully, I'm not blindsided. There you go. Happy birthday.